Hey everyone, it's Arby's here today with Atelia's Tombs. So, you know, there's this card that never gets played, Sandswept Tune, and there's a reason why it's not played, it's because it's not very good. But, it summons a 5-2 charger each time, it can help with reputation procs for instance, that's why we have a little splash of Noxus. We have the bloody business to give our deck some interaction, which Sharima desperately needs outside of vulnerable. And then we also are running the Whispered Words because this card is just ridiculous. This card is OP. So of course I'm running that as well. The idea is to play Talia onto the tomb and multiply it. And then you're using Sivir as well to buff everything to have quick attack and such. It's just really neat. So I hope you enjoy this deck. I absolutely loved playing it. And also too, before we get on to the game, I want to apologize that my sound despite testing earlier was not working for the game sound you can still hear me clearly and fine you know I'll just have some background music so I hope it's okay so let's go ahead and get on to the games honestly not bad I'm gonna keep it it's Ellie so I have my combo turn three I like that on turn three, I think. Bank the rest of the mana. Because I think we're going to play Rock Hopper next. Yeah. This deck really doesn't... Like, this is really annoying for this deck because it has a lot of things that it wants to keep alive. We have Shape Stone, so... I'm just going to go and throw this out in case they do block. I assume that they won't, but hard to say. Nice. And it helps my reputation proc. Which is a nice plus. And my mana as well. I guess used a bit more efficiently. So yeah, the doing or the rolling sands. Ooh. It's gonna transform though, isn't it? Uh inner sanctum just isn't quite good enough right now, so I'm gonna skip. When they get the bigger one though, we can play, like when they flip it, we'll just play Sand Spinner, which is really funny too. Eh. Boom. Okay. So you're dead. You're and you two are alive. We'll save another one, then these two both die. And then next, I guess, is the Sand Swap Tomb. Play Talia on the defensive turn. Actually, I wasn't expecting this to have uh, some workers in, so it's cool to see some workers on it. Very nice. Yeah, I'm gonna play Tomb here. And Talia does level up next round. She looks so much better as a 5 mana 3 5 rather than a 2 4. It feels, it feels better. I don't know if it actually makes that much of a difference, but it just, it feels right, all right? Mystic Shot kills regardless. So. Okay, that was a Porealis, Porealis. Oh, wow. Oh, that came, it came from Flash. It's not naturally in there, I don't think. I wish it was. I was about to get so excited. I have not seen that card played in ages. Maybe I'll have to play that card. It just seems like it'd be way too slow to like make it work at all in the way that the game is paced now. The game is so much faster than it was a year ago already. Bloody business. Tomb time, tomb time, tomb, 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 tomb time. My reputation's gonna be procked right away. So we're gonna take some damage here. And that's okay. I'm just excited. <laughs> For tomb time, tomb time. I mean, two. One out of five. Two out of five. 
It's just not bad at all. Yeah, you're gonna need some blockers against this. It. Stone weaving. Stone weaving is good a lot of the time, but not so much this time. Sure. Yeah. So I can chronomancer into whispered words too. Maybe even find something else to add. Sejuani damage. I'm at this point too, where if I find inner sanctum, it's not bad either. This looks excellent. Um, I could strike the Sejuani first. I'm actually gonna go with the other one in case they do have a freeze. Uh, it does strike it though. Yeah, oh yeah, it has to be this one too because the strike the ephemeral dies. Now it's five plus power, that's why I'm not uh, worried about the Talia. Or that's why I'm not using on Talia in case you are wondering why. It's because it has to be five plus power to strike for bloody business. Okay, do that. Bloody business again, or Bakai? I think bloody business is sweet. Bakai is not bad either. But thing, bloody business is just... It's my best form of interaction against this deck. So something, you know, against Teemo too. Even though I technically don't have a buff right now, we'll, we'll find one. I guess when I attack too, I do get the five twos. Desert Naturalist, not very useful here. Find me something good. Nope. Bakai. I think I do need to play this. Um, Talia would eat this. You go here. I think we'll just do this. Then I can block this with Talia easier. Okay, it's a bit... They can't really attack into us though, can they? It's a bit worrisome though. Okay, that's not... that's fine. How many shrooms? 23, not bad. Not bad. That's interesting. Well, let's take a look at this first. If they kill Talia, we're in a bit of trouble here. Uh, so Preservarium draws us a card, Emperor's Days though gives us another creature attacking. That doesn't really help with the way that our board's set up, so Preservarium has to be the way to go. Shuffle. <laughs> so I'll kill you off. Do this. <laughs> Imagine drawing a mushroom there. So we'll do that. And then we're going to play bloody business against something preemptively. Wait, never mind, we can't. We have to wait till after. I keep forgetting about I mean I remember, but I also forget. It's great. Alright. I think they die, I'm not sure though. 
funny because if uh, we need another defender, we can actually play Desert Naturalist under one of these and make ourselves a rock bear, so we should be fine. And these rocks help as well. Yeah, how much damage do we actually do is the question. Fly away while you can. I don't want these things burning me any further. I don't care about the damage as much. If we live, then I get to kill them at, uh, the next turn and regardless. My next attack token regardless. So I think just getting rid of more burn damage is the way to go. So two more dots, we're down to five health. Now the question is, how many shrooms do I draw and if they have reach after that? Actually, no, we can write negation this next dot. Ooh, that was what I was really hoping they didn't have. Oh, I can Desert Naturalist it though. Okay. Oh, <gasps> nice. Okay. So I'm gonna Desert Naturalist that, for sure. And we're gonna negation the... the dot, for sure. That means we have Chronomancer or Hourglass left. Either one's fine. Okay. Moments of truth coming. <laughs> okay, yeah. We're gonna... Speaking of which, we can actually just destroy... Destroy this. And because they have good excited, should be going up my face, not at this, so... It's not a big deal. Inner Sanctum, or we definitely don't want Whispered Words. Inner Sanctum's not going to be useful. I mean, really none of them are going to be useful because they're open attacking, but still. It's kind of just like me pressing and hoping that I don't get a bad draw. Oh my gosh! Oh, GG. Oh, that's so sad. That was a nice top deck they had. <laughs> it's a really good top deck. Against Thresh and Nasus. I really like this hand, but I also really don't like this hand. I would like it against a lot of other decks, but not against Thresh Nasus. It's a Dune Keeper type of day. Alright, we're only taking one damage on turn one instead of like four. Uh, skip. Ancient prep. Just. I'm gonna be playing Rock Hopper, so I'd rather find something else instead. I'm still playing Rock Hopper. Dang, it's. This might be my turn three, though. Oh, I gladly. Okay. Block, block. Play this, maybe play Rock Hopper if they develop further. We shall see. Uh, definitely a Rock Hopper. So one of the Fearsomes can't be blocked, the other one can be blocked, which is nice. Yeah. I think this is still probably the way to go. 
I do have Sand Spinner, which is really nice. Thank you, Sand Spinner. You are the best. See all those rolling sands ready for them? <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Keep more creatures up this way, even if they can file feast this. Oh, they black speared. They don't have file feast. Okay. No, that's excellent. Yes, I will take that all day. Another one. Nice. So rock bear can't be duplicated by Talia. So I'll probably be playing that. Get the countdown a bit lower for her. Hmm, yeah, definitely play Rock Bear here. It's no other option. We're at 16 health against Thresh and Asses. They only have three cards in hand. I mean, that the three cards in hand or two cards in hand doesn't really mean much because they're, you know, they got glimpses and stuff like that. But you know, it means we got a chance. So that'll be good. Not quite yet, but soon. It's worth playing because she's leveled up, though. I could get an Ancient Preparations here, but if they do kill my Talia, I'll want her. And when I say I could- I mean, it's not a for sure thing, too. Since she has Vulnerable on her now, though, I'm probably gonna keep the second one. I don't wanna draw my Marauders. She just dies. Cool. <laughs> They're gonna play Nasses, aren't they? <laughs> Not cool. <laughs> I actually I have to play Bakai if I want to block Nasses. Let's see. Can we just? <gasps> no Nasses. We take those. For a second I thought that was 35 already. I was like, woo, yeah. And then I realized that it's not. <laughs> it was 25. Oh, it's a little cute baby Nasus. What? Okay then. I wonder how many pebbles I can stack on you. What a peculiar thing to say. Okay, so Talia does kill Nasus here. She definitely does. I really don't want them getting this. I know it seems kind of weird, but they only have one card. Um, and I don't want them getting a Thresh or an Asus. And Atrocity doesn't even kill me here, so it's like, you know, maybe I'll just do that. So, Sivir. Uh, Talia's stuff goes off first. So you go, you go, and then you go. Oh wait, Nasus can get slay stuff and get bigger though, so you gotta go first. There we go. Yes, I have played against Nasus before. I was thinking like, oh I want Talia to get, you know, like the uh the stuffs. The uh <laughs> the Sivir stuff. This is sweet! No Sam's- or no Tomb, but you know, still really good. Yeah, like this is Ari. Y'all usually see Jax, but I'm upstairs right now, so I got Ari here instead of with me. She's a good girl. Nice. Wait, why did all my spell shields go away? Is it just- I was just attacking allies, isn't it? Eh. That's all right. I thought they would stay around a little bit longer, you know? 
Can you kill my Talia, please? Thanks. I mean, it'd be pretty cool of them. It's um, an interesting attack. I think that's a uh, I have no other plays attack attack. GG's. Yay! <laughs> Not bad.